for most authors, the biggest challenge with the new Cognos Analytics is navigating the UI, figuring out where things are. Cognos Analytics has made this easy by introducing a navigation button at the top. We have our default homepage, which is now signified by a welcome. We can also set any other content as our home, simply clicking on our preferences and choosing a report or a dashboard to be our home screen. This gets rid of the welcome screen. If we want to reset this, we can at any time. Let's take a look at the new environment and let's explore around a bit. We're gonna to connect to our Cognos Analytics system where here we see that we're already logged in and we've got some tools up here on the far left. Search, my content, team content, and recent. This is what is formally known as your home directory. And this is what's formally known as public folders. So we've got my home and we've got or my folders and we've got public folders now represented as my content and team content. The new features of search and recent are very useful for authors. Let's take a look at the search. So here I'm going to search for my top 10 retailers. Notice that as I begin my search, it auto-completes. If I click on that, it returns back a list of results that are sorted by relevancy. I'll click on this first one to view the report. When I do this, I see my report and it comes back. Because this report was created in an earlier version, I don't have any of the interactive features that you get in the new Cognos Analytics, such as sorting or filtering. I would need to edit this report and enable those features. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm now in the edit mode of that report. I come to the properties of the report page, I have a list of properties that are available. At the report level, we have one called with run with full interactivity. If I change that to yes, This will enable all of our new, new functionality. So I'm gonna exit out of edit mode. I'm back to my return mode. And now you notice that when I click on different things, I have the ability to sort. I have the ability to summarize. This is the new interactivity that's available to end users. A quick sort will update this report. I now see my results sorted by revenue. I did not open a new window when I did that. I stayed in the same interface. I can now navigate between my different versions. Here's my original version. And here's my new edited version. If I do not want any of these around, I simply click the minus sign to remove them. When I remove them, I'm returned to my welcome screen. I can also use recent to go back to one of my reports. From here, I can use the more ellipsis to perform different actions, such as running, editing, or viewing the versions of the report that have been out there. I can also use the share functionality to share a report. Clicking on the recent a second time closes the slide out panel. Let's take a look at another report. I'm gonna click on team content 
And from report, standard reports, I'm going to open sales summary. This report has been made interactive. It has a built-in embedded filter. When I click on this and click on camping equipment, then finish, my report will update now just to show camping equipment. I can click on this first list, click on the filter, and have it just include specific things. For example, if I want it just to include Americas. If I come down here, I can include Americas. Notice that I need to click in the column body, not the column header. My entire report is now updated and reflects my change. I can remove all filters and I'm back here to my starting point. I'm going to scroll down to the column chart and I see that camping equipment tents are my top seller. Because this is an OLAP source, I can use the explore options and I can drill down to the next level. Here I see my tents and I can see how much revenue we, we made on each one. To close this, I simply click on my welcome and click the minus sign.